that is within and without. God is within and without. It's the air that we breathe, all we receive. God is within and without. Hi, it's Kathy Ann Lewis, and I want to share with you during this faith lift something that I think is a catalyst for us getting out of a bad mood. <laughs> I love the word catalyst. I, I I finally looked it up. I wondered what it was. A catalyst is is a chemical usually or or a process that helps speed things along. So, for instance, sometimes when you've had a trauma or or a sudden occurrence like losing your job or uh, a car accident or um, you find that you don't have as much money as you thought you needed to send your children to school or whatever, that can be a catalyst uh, to move forward. And we're always moving forward, by the way. We can't not move forward. If we're not moving forward, mm, we're declining and we're not going to be on this earth much longer. Not only are we, are, are we moving forward physically and mentally and emotionally, but spiritually, we are in, on an eternal path of unfoldment and discovery and development. And a catalyst is something that helps us speed along that process to move more quickly through something, to move from one state to another state to another state. So um, a catalyst then for us, metaphysically is a process that we can choose to incorporate that will move us through quickly <laughs> so that we are we are evolving by choice rather than by necessity so here's a catalyst and that is when we're grumpy depressed bored um, sometimes even just confused or especially anxious, because there's a lot of anxiety going on right now. A way to help us move through this is to first affirm to ourselves that there's a good for us and we really ought to have it. Because a lot of these emotions, these things that we're experiencing, is the subconscious realization that we should have a better life and we're not. Or we should have a better experience and we're not. So to help us move through this, we say, there's a good for me and I really ought to have it. It's telling the truth. Truth moves us through things. And then get really specific about what that good might be. And my good is. When I, when I get cranky, I, I notice that it's because I believe that I am somehow separate from the life that my soul says that I should have. So to, to let my soul's desire become manifest in my outer life, I start the process by saying, there's a good for me and ought to have it. It'll cheer you up. Just, and first of all, you might go, I don't, shouldn't be saying this, I don't know. I've watched people do this for decades. But eventually when you really get it, the mood is just lifted because you're telling yourself the truth. And then name that, name what that good is. That might be that uh, uh, there's a good for me and I ought to have it. And it's a greater sense of peace and it's a greater sense of security or whatever. Usually won't be a thing, but it will definitely be an experience. An experience. So try that. Give it a try. Um, see what happens. And by the way, I would love it if you would email me back and let me know how these faith lifts are affecting you or put a comment in or, or something, or even say, hey, I wanna challenge you. Can you tell me how to have greater faith in this area? I love challenges, you know, stump the minister. Let's do this together. Love you, have a great day. with what you got No sense worrying about what's not You already have what 
you need There beneath your fingertips you see Everything you need to succeed You can get You just put your dream in action. The second and the third step are the smartest. It's that first step that is the hardest. You gotta start with what you got. No sense worrying about what's not. You are. To succeed, yeah. Can't spend your life waiting in the wings. It takes courage to do those things that your heart has been dreaming about. It's the journey, not the end result. Yeah.